Hi everyone. Um, I'm really glad that today we are meeting uh, for something amazing and something cool, which is futuristic, and that is coming from directly USA. And uh, let me not take a lot of time. Let me introduce you to today's speaker, Neil. Neil is uh, actually an innovator who created and thought of a product, which is more of right now in a prototype stage. Uh, they are trying to build the entire product uh, on a pipeline so that it can help the humanity. Now, when I'm talking about product, when I'm talking about some innovator, what is this I'm talking about? I'm actually talking about a person who thought of doing something cool for people who may not have the kind of abilities that a normal person have. For an example, all the normal people, we have both hands, maybe we can use that. But what if we are working and we need our phone to respond and follow us? You may say that, okay, I have uh, probably some AI enabled uh, voice recognition system, so I can talk to my phone. Yes, you can, but your phone can't follow you. It can't hover in front of you, or maybe it cannot follow you just like a drone system. Now you may say that, what is this all about? Well, think of your phone having something cool which can follow you wherever you go. And for people, who have different abilities, they don't need to use their phone like in their hand. They can go for hands-free. It can follow you with a patented technology. It can detect, understand your voice, and then eventually can follow the instructions that you are giving. But to be very honest, if I share everything, the entire magic is lost. Rather, let's hear it from the horse's mouth so ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Neil, uh, one of my very good friends and the real gem in this innovation world. Neil, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Arjit. Thank you so much for having me on your platform. I really appreciate it. Super. Why don't you share uh, a brief details about the product that you have innovated and the kind of disruption it can bring in the world? Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you again. So, you know, uh, I recently designed and now started to develop a hovering smartphone case, which I've dubbed phone quad. Uh, and what is phone quad? Why is it important? Why does anybody need it? You know, these are some of the things that I would like to explain and convey to the world. Um, and I appreciate this, uh, this platform and this medium. So, uh, you know, phone quad in its basic form is a hovering smartphone case. You know, millions of people all over the world will be able to lock their smartphone, whether it's iOS or Android, inside phone quad, which is our proprietary airframe, open the flaps and literally just let go. So let's think about it, how radical, how disruptive and how futuristic would it be if you actually held your phone at arm's length out in front of your face and you were able to literally let go of it and it would hover and stay exactly where it is, uh, stable and steady in midair. Uh, so you could walk away from it and actually control it with your voice via Bluetooth AirPods. So we are currently coding uh, proprietary voice recognition software, which will allow you to control phone quad from a distance. So I tell people, I like to tell people, you know, think selfie stick, but without the stick. So your phone will actually be able to hover at eye level, and you'll be able to control it with your voice. So I can say, zoom in, zoom out, call mom, take pic, start video, uh, and all these amazing you know, pieces of functionality, uh, you'll be able to you know, command phone quad with your voice. So the idea is, you know, you'll no longer have to physically hold your phone. And you know, just to kind of back up a little bit, uh, I originally thought of phone quad uh, when I was spending some time with my father, and he suffers from arthritis, he has advanced arthritis, and it's a very difficult time um, controlling his, his phone. And one of his favorite things to do is FaceTime with my kids, his grandchildren. And so when I saw that his hands were not steady, uh, and he was unable to control uh, his phone or dial the number and things of that nature, you know, being an IT guy and a drone enthusiast, um, and then I like to build things, you know, from an electronics perspective, especially UAV technology, I kind of combined the problem that I saw he was having and that level of frustration with a passion that I have. And that's how I conceived phone quad. 
So anybody that, you know, has arthritis, bursitis, Parkinson's, missing fingers, you know, any kind of neurological scenario that might make them uh, unsteady with their hands, phone quad is really a terrific solution and can help millions of people, I believe, on a global basis. So you're taking your phone, you're locking it into phone quad, uh, you're opening it up, and it will literally just hover stable and steady uh, at eye level so I can use my voice commands to control it from a distance. You know, and, and real quick around functionality and people have asked me about, you know, uh, battery dependencies and power and noise and things of that, you know, we can get really granular and take a deep dive into the engineering of it and, and all those fun details. But real quick right now, I would, uh, I'd love to show you a picture of phone quad while I kind of explain uh, what the viewing community um, is looking at. And so right now you're looking at, you know, iPhone 14. Um, locked into phone quad and it's literally hovering stable and steady in one spot so again you can take you know hands-free pictures hands-free videos have a FaceTime conversation uh, with friends and family uh, and basically you know be completely free of any tethers or selfie sticks uh, or any other kind of controls and things of that nature so phone quad is really geared not towards any one specific demographic but uh, we, we really have the world in mind. Uh, and right now, um, you know, there are seven and a half billion people in the world. There are more mobile phone subscriptions in the world than there are people. So that's really an exciting metric that we're looking at. Um, we are soon to be moving into the engineering and development phase. Uh, and we're very excited that we have an amazing team of brilliant aerospace engineers ready to go, software developers, proprietary code, um, and we're really, ready to launch uh, in the next couple of months from a, uh, a development perspective and hopefully soon after uh, moving into manufacturing and global distribution. Is there anything that you're looking for, uh, Neil, at the moment? Like, uh, I'm sure that in your prototype stage, when you're going for from prototype to uh, go-to-market strategy, I'm sure that you're probably uh, looking for funding, which can enable this entire project to come online and uh, maybe the world can see this uh, as, as a product itself. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so we uh, we're having conversations with angel investors, um, crowdfunding sites, you know, things of that nature. And we've had a lot of excitement um, in, in what we're trying to do. And a lot of, you know, investors are looking at us from a, uh, a perspective where we're pioneers uh, in the, in the space of hands-free communication. So, you know, the selfie stick it's a very simple application, very inexpensive to manufacture, produce, distribute, and use. Um, but at the same time, you're still physically held to, uh, you know, a tether or a selfie stick, where this really, you know, sets you free. You don't have to hold your phone. There's a lot of software involved. Uh, we really make it, you know, uh, the functionality incredibly easy for anyone at any age, any demographic um, to really use and enjoy and benefit from. So, you know, my initial goal was to help people that have hand-related medical conditions. And while I was drawing this and developing it and thinking about it and figuring out how we get it from A to Z, you know, I quickly realized all of the real world use cases that there are. So, you know, a lot of the larger drone manufacturers out there specifically target, you know, um, X Games and outdoors enthusiast demographic, where we really don't focus on any one specific demographic Phone Quad is a global platform. We do not focus on a specific age or a specific income demographic. So I think that's one of the things that's incredibly exciting, not just to us, but to uh, a lot of the uh, you know venture capital folks that we've had conversations with and angel investors and why we're right for crowdfunding if that's the strategy that we decide to focus on. Um, so we're, we're incredibly diverse. It's not a niche one-time sell. We have enough um, you know, functionality uh, to really create and produce a multi-generational pipeline of phone quad products over the years. So whether it's software or hardware, we're continuously going to be developing our design, our functionality, um, and really working with our community to uh, to improve and, and move it forward. You know, and there's one thing that I've, you know, I, I pride myself on is no question that we're going to implement is anybody that is a uh, part of the phone quad community any of our users and 
phone quad owners, you know, I can really put my word on that you will be receiving free tech support for you for life. It, there's no question about it. Any issue with phone quad, with the hardware, the software, with support, we want to know about it. We want to help you. Uh, you know, we, we want you to help us improve our platform. So we're excited to get close to our users, test the product, get it out into the marketplace, work with investors, work with our engineers and software developers. We really do epitomize, uh, you know, when people say, what is the crossroads of hardware and software? This is who we are. This is what we're doing. This is why we're really, we're really excited to get phone quad out to the global community. Brilliant. So I feel that uh, we'll be more than happy if the audience can uh, uh, connect with us. Uh, feel free to comment. Feel free to uh, communicate with uh, both of us. I know Neil for, uh, I think, uh, more than a year now, and we have been discussing and we have been uh, building this product from scratch. And I'm really, really happy that I'm one of the advisors in his uh, company. Um, definitely, this is what we are talking about the future. So uh, the best possible option is to support the future and probably we can be part of the history in making. Thank you so much, Neil, for coming and sharing the beautiful insight that you have. And uh, definitely we can, we can probably, uh, uh, um, uh, you can say uh, communicate with uh, the audience and if there is any kind of query if there is any kind of question that you have feel free to connect with us uh, we are always available in chat in, in email in phones so feel free to communicate and keep supporting the amazing innovation that this gentleman is doing thank you so much for watching